Jeff Bezos has just made himself the laughingstock of the entire space industry. In a poor attempt to get one over Elon Musk and SpaceX, he may have doomed Amazon and the second largest investment in the company's history. Let's take a closer look at this incredible blunder, the poor choices that led to it, and the consequences that Amazon and Jeff Bezos will have to face. Jeff Bezos, the head of Blue Origin, is well known for filing lawsuits against various entities, including rivals like SpaceX and government officials such as NASA. Ironically, this time he finds himself on the receiving end of a lawsuit, not from an external party, but from an Amazon shareholder. This shareholder has taken legal action against the Amazon board, which includes Bezos, concerning decisions related to selecting partners for the Kuiper satellite launch. These decisions notably involved the deliberate exclusion of SpaceX. In a twist of fate, Bezos seems to have harmed his own efforts in the competition with Elon Musk. The lawsuit has inflicted significant damage on his company, laying bare the vulnerabilities in the project Blue Origin was pursuing. Consequently, it has once again made Bezos's company a subject of ridicule, not just in comparison to SpaceX, but also within the broader aerospace industry. Kuiper's satellite system belongs to Amazon, a renowned global technology company founded by Bezos, who also owns Blue Origin. This satellite system was developed to rival SpaceX's Starlink, another satellite network. The Kuiper system is planned to comprise 3,236 satellites, launched gradually over approximately 10 years in accordance with FCC regulations. Amazon is mandated to launch 50% of its satellites by July 30th, 2026, and complete the entire satellite deployment no later than July 30th, 2029. This ambitious project comes with a hefty price tag of $10 billion, making it the second largest investment in Amazon's history. To adhere to the provided timelines, Amazon took a significant step in April 2022 by awarding contracts to launch companies that would aid in accomplishing this satellite project. Four companies have been enlisted for Amazon's satellite launch initiative, among the known ones are ULA, Ariane Space, and Blue Origin. The identity of the fourth company remains undisclosed, but it is highly likely not to be SpaceX, a renowned satellite launch company. The selection criteria employed by the Amazon board, including Bezos, remain unclear. In an unintended manner, the board has excluded SpaceX from participating in this project, despite SpaceX's established reputation in the satellite launch industry. Amazon received approval from the FCC in July 2020, granting them the green light to launch satellites. This meant that Amazon had a six-year window to launch 50 satellites and nine years to deploy all 3,236 satellites. However, halfway into this period, no satellites have been launched into orbit by the selected rocket companies. This situation prompted criticism, particularly aimed at those responsible for selecting the launch service providers, most notably Jeff Bezos. The circumstances reached a climax on August 28th, when the Cleveland Bakers and Teamsters Pension Fund, an Amazon shareholder, took legal action against the Amazon board. They accused the board of neglecting to conduct a thorough pre-selection analysis and instead hastily approving and signing contracts after only two brief meetings. It's apparent without delving deep into the details why the Amazon board, led by Jeff Bezos, didn't opt for SpaceX. The issue seems to revolve around competition and advantages. SpaceX has long been a competitor of Blue Origin, the company founded by Bezos. The lawsuit alleges that by excluding SpaceX, Bezos and his team reduced competitive bidding for launch agreements, potentially leading Amazon to spend hundreds of millions of dollars more than necessary. Consequently, this decision appears to be motivated more by personal motives than a result of an objective analysis. In fact, the companies chosen by Amazon are encountering numerous challenges. Among these, Blue Origin seems to enjoy considerable favors and benefits from Amazon's contracts. Blue Origin is renowned for its suborbital flights. However, they have not yet launched any vehicle into Earth's orbit. Despite having plans for their orbital vehicle, New Glenn, in production for a significant duration, the launch schedule has been plagued by persistent delays. The New Glenn project has fallen significantly behind its original schedule, trailing by two years. Numerous sources have indicated that the rocket's inaugural launch might occur in 2024. This delay raises concerns because there won't be any New Glenn flights this year, leaving Amazon's Kuiper satellite launch plans in limbo. Moreover, since the rocket has never been tested in Earth's orbit, it cannot immediately undertake the tasks assigned by Amazon. Launching the Kuiper satellites will be a prolonged process involving rigorous testing and necessary upgrades. Additionally, New Glenn's launch timeline hinges on the production status of the B4 engine. Currently, there's little information available about the progress of the B4 production process, except for an explosion that occurred at the end of June, adding another layer of uncertainty to the situation. Blue Origin's sluggish and unclear plans have left Amazon shareholders growing increasingly impatient. Despite more than half of the allotted time passing, there has been no visible progress in the project, leading to an unacceptable situation for shareholders. Moreover, ULA, another key player in the project, also has high expectations. 
However, their operations are directly impacted by Blue Origin, as their Vulcan Centaur rocket also relies on the same B4 engine as the New Glenn, which is produced by Blue Origin. Previously, Vulcan Centaur faced failures and ULA's head, Tori Bruno, expressed the expectation of launching it in the fourth quarter of 2023. However, due to the lack of clarity in engine production and completion from Blue Origin, this announcement is met with skepticism and doubts among industry observers. As for Ariane Space, their Ariane 6 vehicle has encountered its share of delays, resulting in its launch being postponed to 2024. This situation means that all three companies chosen by the Amazon board to facilitate their satellite launches are grappling with issues. Consequently, it appears increasingly unlikely that Amazon satellites will be able to make it into orbit this year as originally planned. While SpaceX was not chosen for the Kuiper project, the company continues to make significant strides. Elon Musk's company remains at the forefront with the highest number of orbital launches this year. Their Falcon 9 rocket has maintained a steady launch cadence, outshining their competitors. Falcon 9 has been launched a remarkable 260 times, a milestone that competitors are likely to take a considerable amount of time to match. One of the key reasons behind SpaceX's success is the efficiency of their Falcon 9 rocket, making it the most reliable orbital launch vehicle in the aerospace industry. Additionally, SpaceX has managed to keep the costs relatively low, with each Falcon 9 launch priced at around $67 million, significantly cheaper than the industry average. The number of SpaceX Starlink satellites continues to rise steadily, with SpaceX having launched over 5,000 of these satellites into orbit. More than half of these satellites are currently operational. This number is poised to grow even further, as Elon Musk and SpaceX have ambitious plans to deploy a total of 42,000 Starlink satellites to ensure global internet coverage. Despite its relatively short deployment period of just four years, the Starlink system has already established dominance in Earth's orbit. This accomplishment showcases SpaceX's capabilities in satellite deployment technology. Even if the Kuiper system achieves its goals, it seems unlikely that it will surpass the Starlink system's reach. Interestingly, not being selected for the Kuiper project might provide an advantage for SpaceX. This decision allows them more time and focus to dedicate to their ongoing projects, particularly the Starship project, ensuring that they can continue their advancements in space technology. Recent indications suggest that SpaceX's Starship might undergo its second orbital test flight soon. Within Amazon, feelings of regret, disappointment and anger prevail among its leadership team. The decision to choose SpaceX could have at least ensured that Amazon had some satellites in orbit. With half the allotted time already gone, Amazon faces a dilemma. Should they wait for their initial selections, which seem increasingly uncertain due to delays and challenges with Blue Origin, or consider other options? Criticism has been directed at Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos, accusing them of letting personal rivalries interfere with collaborative efforts. These decisions are directly impacting both Amazon and Blue Origin, raising questions about their competitive strategies and how these choices might hinder their collective progress. It appears increasingly unlikely that Amazon will meet the FCC's deadline, potentially damaging their reputation significantly. The ambitious goal of competing with Starlink through their satellite system might fade away as time and resources are expended. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's already slow projects could face further delays due to the issues caused by their leader. They find themselves forced to watch as their rival, SpaceX, makes rapid strides, particularly with the Starship project. Should Starship continue its successful trajectory, it would serve as a significant blow and a source of humiliation for Jeff Bezos and his associates, underscoring the challenges they face in keeping up with the pace set by SpaceX. What do you think? Do the competing companies have any chance of catching up to SpaceX or is it too late? Let us know in the comments section below.